hello and welcome in this video i will talk about a concept called delivery schedule delivery schedule is applicable on purchasing side and sell side both i will talk about on the purchasing side as purchase order how to do that in system and you can apply the same thing in the sales order as well before i show this into the system i would like to talk about the concept so that you can relate what we are doing in the system so for that i have prepared a ppt so that you can easily understand what is this all about so there is a vendor and there is an organization organization need 100000 quantity of a raw material or any uh, you know goods which uh, as per their need so they have you know asked the vendor that whether they can deliver this thousand quantity or not so vendor say they can deliver but they will be delivered this thousand quantity in phases so first phase is after one week from the order date they will deliver 100 quantities and after that in one month time they will deliver 500 quantity and rest of the quantity they will deliver in two months so this whole schedule of delivery in phases is called delivery schedule how we can do this in system now i will talk about the first thing before that i would like to say that for that we don't need any setup so if the purchase order is working then delivery schedule will definitely work in your system first i will create a new purchase order i will select the vendor okay and then i will select a site maybe and warehouse 2 okay and i will click okay and i will select an item Let's see. Okay, this item has some error. I will select another item. It's called cables. Okay. Now I will enter the quantity, say thousand, as an example, and unit price is twelve watt it is. Okay, and then once I have selected the thousand item. now i will select the purchase order line and from here i will get this option called delivery schedule i will click on this delivery schedule and here i can add the date say today is 4th april 2023 after one week it will 10 april 2023 here as vendor said they will deliver 100 quantities okay and after that i will click another line for 500 quantity which is one month from now 4th of may and another line will be 400 quantity which is in two months from now it is may june 4th april that's it i will click on okay now you will notice automatically system will bifurcate these three lines so now as i said so still this 1000 quantity will be there in the line but if you notice this net amount and adjusted amount and all the value will not be here rather the schedule we have created as part of the delivery schedule those have been added automatically from the system 100 delivery date the first delivery the first shipment they will send is a as a 100 item and then in one month they will send 500 500 items and the rest of the quantities they will send after two months okay so now this is basically the delivery schedule now the part is if i click on confirm
it is confirm before i confirm i wanted to talk about this first line because this thousand quantity is coming why the reason is this thousand quantity you can assume this is working as a header line on top of the three lines so it's the total quantity but this will not have any impact on the finance the only impact will be th this delivery schedule and now i will click on product receipt and the first product receipt i will say as for the uh, shipment they have delivered say first shipment okay and while i am doing this i'm assuming this is for the first item 100 items so what i need to do i need to select this and i need to unselect the first type uh, line and then delete the second and third line because i am receiving the 100 quantity now I will click OK. Now you see this is done. So similarly I can check product receipt. This product receipt will have only 100 quantities as I mentioned. Okay. Now what I what I can do once I receive it I will now do the invoicing. But this is not a you know different process you can do this for uh, while you are practicing. So now once that invoicing is done we can again the, when the times comes in the one month when we get that second order second shipment again we can click on the product receipt can write second and now you see only two lines are coming because the first line is delivered i will del delete the say, third line i will now do the second line for 500 quantity once i receive it so let's not extend this because after this um, you know everything is same what i have sh uh, shown you so this is all about delivery schedule so delivery schedule is what again we'll go to that scenario where we are an organization they are coming to an agreement that total quantity will be thousand or anything and this total quantity will be delivered in schedule First will be some quantity and then second and third as per the agreement or as per the vendor confirmation. So that's all about the delivery schedule. I hope you have learned something new. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another videos.